Hi everyone, my name is Deepak Nair and I'm the customer support engineer in the UCC X stack team. This is a sh uh, short tutorial on how to capture the MIVR logs from the command line. The MIVR logs is, is a term that is used for the CCX engine logs. So this tutorial will walk you through the steps on how to capture the CCX engine logs from the command line interface. For this tutorial, I'm using UCCX version 10.6.1 base. So let's start. So I'm logged into the command line interface using PuTTY for UCCX 10.6.1 base. This is my SFTP server and I'll be using my SFTP server to transfer the files from the UCCX to the folder called MIVR. So let's, let's go ahead and check how many uh, MIVR files are there in the UCCX setup right now. So the command to source the MIVR folder from the database is file list active log UCCX log MIVR. What this will do, this will list all the files inside the MIVR folder. So these are all the files that are inside the MIVR folder. So let me go ahead and maximize this window. Yeah. So these are all the files that are inside the MIVR folder. But it, it becomes very difficult for us if we are looking for a specific file that belongs to a specific time period. So I'll just go ahead and modify this command so that it will go ahead and list all the files uh, with the date and time information. So I'll go ahead and hit the up arrow key, file list active log, UCCX log MIVR space star space detail. What this will do, this will start uh, to display the date and the time at, at which those logs got created. So we can see the MIVR logs now have the date as well as the time at which these logs were created. So for example, if I, let's, let's, let's pick an MIVR file. Let's pick a 250, okay? So I need to collect this log or move this log from the UCCX database onto my MIVR folder using the SFTP server. So in order to move the files from the UCCX database onto the MIVR folder that we created for our SFTP server, uh, we'll have to run the command file get active log UCCX log MIVR followed by the MIVR file name. So let's check the command again. It's file get active log UCCX log MIVR followed by the MIVR file name and hit enter. Okay, it checks the size of the file and it gives us a message. Do you want to proceed? So let's do Y or yes. Now, it is asking us for the SFTP IP address. So this is my SFTP server. So let me just go ahead and copy the IP address. And for this demonstration, I'm using MIVR user instead of Cisco. So I'll just make that change. Put in the IP address, hit enter. Yep. So MIVR is my user ID. Password is Cisco. Download directory as default. It says, do you want to continue? Let's do yes. It says transfer completed. So this particular file, MIVR250log.gz, has now been sent from the UCCX server onto the folder that I declared under the user MIVR, which is MIVR folder, which is this. So this folder should now have an MIVR file. There we go. So this was the process of collecting the MIVR logs using the command line interface. So I hope this has been informative and thank you very much for viewing.